All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Mystic Ninja Soul coming at you. So I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison review video of the Elgato face cam. The Elgato face cam is the camera that's on the right. My C920 is on the left. Now, there have been no real enhancements. Now, the C920 can look just as good as the Elgato face cam, but you have to do some major tweaking like LUTs and everything. Now, as you can see on the Elgato face cam, you can see almost all my pores. Now this is just a little bit of tweaking so far. I've got a shutter speed of like one over 125 and the ISO is at 732. I left the temperature at the same. Now the one thing I do like is that I can turn, tilt, pan, you name it. So I can make that, you know, wherever I want. So my 920 is on my monitor left and the new is over here. Now, you can mount it on a tripod and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's it's one of those. Now, I don't remember how much the C920 is going for right now, but I do know that the Elgato face cam is going for about roughly $200. Um, and it's well worth it. Now, if you can't afford a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, this is definitely the one to go for. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I'm going to showcase the um, software that I was talking about. So this is the software, as you can see. Um, I don't know how zoomed in is, but you have all kinds of stuff. And the cool thing is you can save it. So it saves it right to the camera. So of course your zoom, field of view, it's, um, like I said, 83 degrees. You can change that, your contrast, your saturation, sharpness. I just left it all. Now. The exposure, that's where you can do like, you know, your ISO, your shutter speed, and all that. If, you, if you're if you really technical with cameras and you know, all that stuff. And then noise reduction. Now, the thing with noise reduction that I've noticed is that it makes it very grainy. Very grainy. So, <laughs> that that's that's the program that comes with it. So, it, it's got a lot of different um things to it, like... uh all kinds of stuff you can do. I like it. I mean, this is like a complete night and day difference. And I got them literally side by side with um, the side and everything. Now, the difference is right now with the face camera, I am using um, the NVIDIA broadcaster to kind of make the background blurry. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and what I'll do is I'll go straight to the face cam without the blur. Now I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit because yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Whenever you switch, you got, sometimes, sometimes it saves, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I mean, it is brand new software. So that's what it looks like, you know, without the background blur and everything. But the, the difference is, you know, there is a lot of, um, a lot wider field of view compared to the C920 and all that stuff. But in all honesty, I do believe this is gonna be a game changer in terms of the web cameras. And there, as you notice, like everything is like all natural, it's not all washed out. And the thing is, the one main difference between the C920 and the face cam. The face cam, it's in 60 frames per second right now. The C920 is in 30 frames per second. Now there is a there is a look a little stutter here and there on the face cam, but I mean it's not very noticeable. Um, now you probably can't see like a little bit of the noise and everything. Now I will say there's not really much need for doing a LUT on this, so I'm going to show you real fast the difference between the 920 when you add a LUT to it versus it being all natural kind of stuff. So that's the C920 with the LUT. Now the downside is it makes it rather dark. So you kind of kind of mess with your gain and all that stuff. So I'm going to get it as close as I can to the look of this one. So about right there. So this is now the C920 with the LUT. That's, and see, that's the main difference. You don't need to do that on the base cam. And I'm like, wow. I mean, now granted, I could throw this LUT onto 
the face camera, but you know, it's not that great. So I'm going to show you what that looks like with the LUT for the, that's based on the C920. No change or anything like that. So, and that's what this looks like. Now, granted, it does look good in a, in a, in a way. It does look good. So I'm not, I'm not going to knock that, but, um, it's not needed. And that's, that's the plus side. It's, it's not needed at all. So yeah. And that, that's, that's the real cool thing about it. So that's with the LUT on, that's with it off. On, off. So, I mean, it's, it's not needed. I mean, you could use it really wanted to, but meh. I don't see, I don't see a need to. I mean, I might add, you know, like color correction stuff to it later, but as of right now, it looks pretty good being natural and everything. And of course, like I said, the C920 is definitely, you know, a major difference between this one and that one. The sharpness on this is just, it blows me away. Now, the one thing I didn't realize until I look at the box is that the Elgato face cam uses a 24 millimeter and it's a Sony lens. So it's pretty close to a DSLR in a way. Now, if I were to drop this down to 30 frames per second, it'd be, you know, you could see what the kind of like what the main difference is. So let me drop that down to 30 frames per second and show you kind of the difference. And I kind of figured that was going to happen again. So let's do that again. So, yeah. Okay. So there we go back to the same thing. Now it's both at 30 frames per second. It's, it's, it's still very, very smooth. It, it's mind boggling how it looks. So, I mean, above all, this is definitely a camera I would recommend if you don't have the money to get a DSLR and you kind of want to upgrade your camera experience. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this camera. I'm pleased with it now like i said it's brand new so there are a few issues it seems with the, the hub with it not always saving but i mean it's easily fixed i mean all you gotta do is go in there you know just kind of mess with the slider a little bit and everything now the automatic stuff does a really good way of doing it now i think with this one you know it's better if you have actual elgato lights which i don't i have the um was it newer um about 55 or 56 100 uh kelvin uh luminosity onto it but i i guarantee if i had the elgato lights you know or at least one elgato light this would this would be no problem because then i can just you know raise the brightness on the light and i have to make this so bright because I've got a lights, they get bright, but they're they're nice for what they do. So I may end up eventually getting, you know, some of those and using these lights for something else. But it's it's up in the air. But anyways, y'all have a great one. Thanks for coming out. Take it easy.